bar, 11 p.m., which means I have one hour left of my 23rd year of life. I am turning 24 years old tomorrow. 8th of October is my birthday. It's coming to the end of my birthday eve. And while today has been a super regular, normal, just like work from home day, filming content and just getting on with my regular responsibilities, I always had it like in my to-do list today that before I go to bed, I'm just gonna open the vlog just to explain to you what this birthday vlog is about a little bit and just give you the intro before I wake up tomorrow on my birthday and like begin celebrations and everything. But what's so funny is the celebrations have already begun and I had no idea they were going to. So it's 11 p.m. right now and the reason I don't like this is because I put on super cozy clothes because boyfriend and I had it in the diary like had it in the plan that this evening we were gonna go to the cinema to go watch Joker 2 together just to do something fun before my birthday celebrations begun just came through the door thinking I'll start off my vlog just do some little final bits and then go to bed walk into the living room and this is what happened oh baby Happy birthday, baby. That is so cool. I love you. I love you. Oh my god, it's like I'm being proposed to. <laughs> Stop, you went all out. Oh, it's so flowery. And the rose petals. Oh, but I look like a boy. <laughs> Cheese. What? Have a sniff. Can I read the card? Yes. Let's do it all now for the full shebang. Thank you so much. Oh, the wrapping is so cute. <gasps> that is so cute. I love that picture. What do you think it is? Cheese. Oh my god. I love them. Exact. Well, I don't even think I told you the name of what I wanted. You didn't. Did you have to do some googling? Did some research. You did some research. Put it all out. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> what a nice evening, and my birthday's not even begun yet. You still have, it's not even 11 p.m. yet. As always, Boyf really came through with the vlogging when I obviously didn't know what was gonna happen. But, oh, this is what the living room looks like now. I am shook. It's past midnight now, which means I'm 24 years old and I finished a really quick journal session. I literally just bullet pointed everything. There was so much that I achieved this year that I literally forgot about. Like I went on a solo vacation for the first time amsterdam and then for the second time cyprus and i remembered that i hit a million subscribers this year but then i forgot oh yeah i literally fulfilled my lifelong dream of going to new york and i went by myself i met so many new people i went to so many events i got on two billboards i launched my podcast Self-obsessed didn't even exist before I turned 23. Like, that's insane. I got nominated for Lifestyle Creator of the Year and now the Creator of the Year. I live in central London, the dream that I've wanted my entire life. I live with my boyfriend. We celebrated our two-year anniversary. I worked with my favorite brands. I did book signings. And I'm so proud of myself. And I still have such a long way to go, but... That was really nice to just appreciate how far I've come. It was such an amazing way to just close off. I did actually take a little bit of a break halfway through journaling when it turned midnight and my boyfriend came into my room and this happened. With that being said, I should go to bed. So good night and I'll see you on my birthday morning. Good morning and happy birthday to me. I just finished getting ready. We literally need to leave right now, but I thought I'd quickly show you guys my outfit. It's just all white. I've got this Skims turtleneck on for warmth, this cute little green blazer. I had to play it safe with my outfit because I can't wear a dress or skirt in the day since we're going horse riding. So I wanted to be like appropriate for that, but still dressy for my birthday. We're about to head out and the first stop is birthday breakfast and I have no idea where we're going.
many things because the menu here looks so amazing. So we want to try everything. I got the most heavenly looking chia seed pudding, a huge pancake, berry toast, boy've got shakshuka. I'm gonna dig into this. See what's like, like brioche toast. I want that bit. Really good. It's like dessert. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized this is gonna be my first wish now for year 24. Oh, I know what I want to wish for. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. That's so cute. This looks really good. Yes, that was. Go where? At the stables now, guys, and I'm about to do horse riding. Just finished horse riding. That was such an incredible experience. We did it for an hour, and while I knew we were doing horse riding, a lot of it was still secret. So I just assumed it was gonna be like a normal horse riding stable kind of vibe. We literally did horse riding through central London, all around Hyde Park. The sun was shining, like the weather is rubbish now, but we got so lucky the sun was shining. It was gorgeous being in that much nature. These are all of the little stables. It's such a cute area. And now we're gonna quickly go for lunch, but that was just insane, such a unique experience. Definitely not something I would book for myself. So very, very grateful to us for my birthday like that. horse riding we found this really nice restaurant in the area that we were in the food was really good and here we just focused on quality time we were just talking debriefing about what the experience was like and it was just a really nice way to finish that off before we headed back home Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. We had a nice long lunch, came home, chilled for a little bit. It actually took us like an hour and a half to get home. So that was like a lot of the day ran away with us. And then I just quickly got ready, like refreshed my hair and makeup. And I'm super happy with this look. And now we're off to the big birthday dinner. I really thought Boyf ordered us a regular Uber to get to the restaurant, but no, he surprised me with my first chauffeur experience and it was incredible. At the Lucky Cat restaurant right now for dinner, we've ordered like five to six dishes of tapas and the first dishes come, our cocktails are insane. The atmosphere of this restaurant, I'm in love. We've both never been, but boy, did so good picking this. I think, I haven't even eaten yet. This is already my new favorite restaurant. Thank you. Oh, 
it's almost 10 30 at night we're walking through mayfair right now we just left our dinner restaurant which was the lucky cat incredible the dessert it's probably my favorite part but all of the other food was so good it was such a good birthday dinner restaurant so i highly recommend and now we are walking to our last stop of the day which is a jazz bar <laughs> Now you guys it's almost the end of my actual birthday so i'm about to get fully ready for bed and knock out so many times throughout the day i kept remember i kept saying out loud like oh my god i'm 24 because i just kept forgetting it weirdly and it just feels very very real because technically doesn't this mean that i'm now in my mid-20s i'm no longer an early 20s girly that's a bit cray. And by no means am I saying 24 is old, but I just, I'm always like this when I turn a new age. Like the first few days, it's a bit like, whoa, I gotta get used to this. I feel so incredibly lucky to have a partner that put together such an amazing day and surprise and got me such thoughtful gifts as well. But stay tuned because while I am wrapping up this portion of the vlog, I am gonna see you in the next clip on Friday when I'm getting super glam. I'm gonna be with all of my favorite people. We're going out for a big dinner. The dinner I've planned is like super sentimental. So I'll explain that all then. We're gonna go on a full on night out, which I have not done in such a long time. I'm so excited to have a dance. It's just gonna be like an entirely different vibe. Getting drunk with my friends. My friends are traveling down like a few hours to come to London and stay with me but also before i wrap this up i want to say the biggest thank you to everyone who sent me such a sweet birthday message today so many of you have just showered me in kindness or sent me paragraphs on instagram or even my snapchat messages just sharing with me what you're grateful for when it comes to my content or just giving me a really nice sweet birthday message and you guys truly don't have to do that and i find it so kind that you take the time out of your day to send me such a thoughtful message so thank you so much i just want to let you know how much i appreciate you and i'll see you guys in the next clip on friday for my birthday party hey guys it's friday which means today is the day of my birthday party it's currently 5 30 in the afternoon my friend Karine is here with me she's been here all day and we have started getting ready which is why i look really crazy because i'm in the middle stages of my makeup but i'm going for dramatic obviously i'm going for blue to match my outfit Karine is doing her makeup now she just brought us some matches so i have a blank street banana bread and we're gonna listen to some music catch up have some girly time and get glam to me that's the only that's how i feel about this one because i hate that for clips one? Not on a daily, days. only like filming days, photo days. Yeah, I thought I was trying to get something blue. So exciting. Oh, you got a new outfit. Just the top. Where'd you get it from? Moss. Everyone's dressing up today. Woo! You, you gonna show me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't worry if you approve. <laughs> oh, that but that matches me perfectly. Oh. Can you show the camera? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> I was like, is this his accident again? I didn't get lost finding the matcha base. Um, I sent her a paragraph she of did. instructions on a text message. Oh, yes. Some of my other friends have arrived. Picks one and then if she wants to trade it, she can trade it. Okay, or yeah. pick one. Okay. Or like, this is my birthday card and I have to scratch it off. What happened? So I get to pick one. What's, what's the rules? <laughs> I think the rules should be pick one yeah. and then that should really be the one that you pick. But if you want to change it, you can. I would say. Oh, spa day! That is so cool, guys. <laughs> I said that was a good scratch. Oh, no. <laughs> the devil, you like know me so well. I've been so, haven't I been saying I wanted to see the devil as Prada in theatre? Oh, that's insane. And yeah. then we'll go for like dinner, dinner. And drinks as well. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. thanks guys. Good. <laughs> thanks. Oh, that's so cute. Right. Now let's get ready. Let's get ready. Oh, I'm so proud of how the card came out. I didn't think the scratch stickers were going off. Yeah. How'd you do that? Like you ordered it from somewhere. I did struggle with the toilet as 
Yeah, Karina said the same, and then Karina literally went out and bought a whole new outfit. I'm doing Emily, this. Emily, do you know how I can get my eyes to stop watering? I just brought this. Yeah, I'm so glad okay, you know. I mean, I'm not even gonna put it in, but. <laughs> So, for context, everybody, on my birthday invite, I told everybody the dress code is to wear a Tamcor esque outfit. So, I'm very excited yeah. to see what everyone's gonna wear. <laughs> I'm always like, what am I meant to wear? <laughs> I was like, okay, guys, this is the finished look. I went for like blue, my eyes keep watering though. I know there's nothing I can do, but I went for floral because obviously to celebrate the fact that at 23, I wrote buy have the damn flowers. We are super late, so we're gonna get in the Uber and head right now because everyone's gonna get there before us. So I will vlog when I get there, but that is the full look. Okay, we are at Ping Pong Soho now, the one restaurant that I've been going to for, since literally I was 10 years old. This restaurant has a lot of sentimental value to me, so I put pictures of myself at this restaurant throughout the years. Yeah. What, like this? Yeah, three, two, one. I'm gonna do vodka soda at the park. The cocktails here are really good. The only reason I take it out is if my bag is too small. Okay. Spinach and mushrooms. Yeah, they're vegetables. There's just different events and lunches every day. They everything. Lemon and raspberry. Ooh, okay, I wanted fruity in it, so I thought. Okay. Hip hip. Hip hip. You did. You know what? I did. 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 I just got back from my birthday night out. It's nearly 1.30 in the morning. I'm very tired and quite the bit tipsy. 
but everybody's just getting ready for bed now we're all i just made everybody a cup of tea so we're just gonna have a little debrief on the night it went so amazing i normally don't do anything for my birthday so it was so nice to get myself out of my comfort zone and actually do something to properly celebrate it with all of my favorite people today so that was great you can probably hear them talking in the background right now um i loved my outfit it was such a vibe and every single song that came on in the bar that we went to was amazing everybody had such a good time like in the uber home we were all talking about our like highlights of the night which was so great but yeah it's half one now by the time i like, get into bed it's probably gonna be 2 a.m and then guys i literally need to wake up at eight o'clock in the morning which is why i was definitely keen on getting back as early as possible because we could have been partying at this time but i decided to be responsible because i got to wake up at 8 a.m get ready and then head all the way to cheltenham for the cheltenham literature festival tomorrow i'm going to be speaking on stage i'm going to meeting i'm going to be meeting a few of you so i definitely don't want to be hungover or too sleepy for tomorrow i want to be in the right headspace and energy so i'm going to do my skincare i'm going to get on ready i'm going to go to bed and then tomorrow saturday is literally a work day right after my birthday and i've been thinking about this all all week and although like it sounds unfortunate i'm honestly grateful for it i would rather be too busy than have too much free time i think that all the busyness means that I'm actually moving in the right direction. So I'm super happy. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up though, because I feel like I can't even speak to you guys properly because I am tired and tipsy. But thank you so much for watching up until this point. I hope all of the little clips that we did vlog when we were out and about partying and at dinner kind of conveyed to you guys what the night was about. <laughs> hey. Hey. Did you just change? Yeah. Oh, you look so cozy. Oh, so yeah that brings us to the end but thank you for watching please comment down below let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was and i will see you guys same time next week on sunday for a brand new vlog bye i appreciate you